Hi, it's Larry here, Xbox's Major Nelson. Welcome to the Xbox Podcast. Another episode for you. We got the the team coming together. We got a little bit of something different this week. You ready? Three, two, no, Jeff. I got Rebecca over there on the right, and then oh, that is definitely not Jeff over on the left. He's much younger, much more stylish. Malik Prince. Hi, Malik. How are you? I'm doing well. Nice to join both you, Larry and Rebecca. Thanks for having me. My first ever podcast hosting, I will say, Jeff and I have gotten mistaken a few times in meetings, and so uh, I don't blame you for that. Well, it's... But, it's great to have you. I mean, people may know you used to you, we used to you used to host quite a few shows over on Mixer when we had Mixer. So you now moved over to the communications team, right? That is right. I'm uh, joining both of you on the communication side, which is great. But yes, people may know me from Mixer shows. I hosted the 104 episodes of Mixer's number one show, Tips and Tricks. Uh, 104 say, episodes? Really? That's a lot of episodes. <laughs> communication level. So somebody should cut me a check. Yeah. Uh, we just got to get it picked up, I guess. Um, so did that. Also worked on the Xbox Ambassadors and Xbox MVP team, which was really community-focused teams working on making the gaming uh, space a more inclusive and welcoming environment. Yep. And so now I used, I can use all that learning to work uh, with Jeff, actually, who is my manager, a little sausage-making there, uh, to kind <laughs> of carry over some of those community management learnings and bring it into the creator space. So it's been a, a really wild journey. Been at Xbox for seven years years which is wild you know my my thing is all about making i want to be used as sort of an inspiration i feel like some people have even told me that in dms which is really flattering but um from a kid who's been who's playing xbox as a young kid to now working here i would have never imagined that i would have been able to have the opportunity so hopefully um people can kind of look to me for inspiration if if possible so it's been a it's been a wild ride it's, been well, a while it's, right. it's great to have you on the team and it's so lovely to see you know you you've been so so active in the space when you were over at uh mixers i said about 108 shows i didn't know you went that long and you used to host that with uh with ethan right yeah ethan uh now who knows where he is i yeah, think they're gonna do he a uh, he's where got the deal not, somewhere he's so. in hollywood <laughs> <laughs> no nah, he, he's uh he's great he i couldn't have done the show without him and he actually is working on the design for xbox team who yeah. makes a bunch of you know really great accessories so uh yeah it's been kind of cool to have somebody that you can come up uh through xbox with as a well, friend yeah here we are so and then rebecca it's good to see you you're you're in new york back in new york how are things going over there going pretty well uh got in some time to play games over the nice three-day you, weekend what did you play also some sunshine um, so I started playing this game called The Gunk. It's an Xbox Game Pass game. I think it's an indie title. Have either of you heard of it? Yeah, we did an interview. Yes. Uh, Jeff did an interview with it a couple of, boy, a couple of months ago, I believe. I was going to say, I think it came out in December. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, I think that I've been drawn to some of the games, that are, especially on Xbox Game Pass, that are more action adventure leaning, um, a little bit of like exploration, really beautiful like art styles. And this definitely fits all of those buckets. Yep. Um, you play as this gal named Ronnie and you're kind of working to uh, clean and excavate this world of the gunk, which is this like parasitic mess that's like falling all over. So there's something really relaxing about just holding down the right trigger and sucking up this, you know, <laughs> infectious mess from the world. And, you know, my, aside from my room, my apartment is kind of messy. So I'm like kind of ignoring the real, real world cleaning and doing that in game instead. <laughs> Good. Well, yeah, it's, it's, we, I, we actually, we actually interviewed the, the lead, um, voice for her she's on what is she she's on uh is it funny is it i can't remember where she is kind of funny uh or maybe she's at ign no, but, she, no. but anyway Not she's sure. the main voice uh I, my, her name is escaping me right now and i'm sure internet you'll straighten me out but yeah it's a lot of fun and you, as you said rebecca it's on game pass so ch- there's no reason not to check it out mm-hmm. yeah what about you guys yeah i mean play? i oh well I was kind of nervous for this question. I will say that my the gunk is actually in my two playlist. Um, and I, you brought up messes, and we were talking about this before. But I have a huge mess in my apartment, but you can't see it because Larry just has a shot. I wasn't going to say right anything. Now. How's that? <laughs> so you can see actually, actually that uh, that poster back there was designed by Carl Ledbetter, who helped design designs oh, nice. all of our consoles. So that is an original poster designed by Carl Ledbetter that I have yet to hang on my apartment because wow. as you can see the wall is bare and I need I need an interior designer for this. Yeah. It, it is uh, but all of the the whole mess is pushed off camera so you can't yeah. see. Um but yes, what am I playing? I was actually nervous for this question because 
I am one of those gamers. There's a different, few different kinds of gamers. You know, there's a gamer that plays every new game that comes out. We, I think maybe we'll talk about Elden Ring, which just came out, which is going to be huge. Um, and then there's the gamers that kind of stick with one game. And I'm more of that kind of person. What so game I've been are you sticking Apex with right now? Apex Legends. I have ah. so many hours of Apex Legends. Lifeline main. There's no better character. Any other arguments are invalid. Um, but yeah, I love Apex Legends. I play it religiously. Um, playing a little bit of Halo Infinite, I guess. So that's an, an addition. And I will say that I did jump back into Cyberpunk with the new update out, and it looks yeah. amazing. Feels great. Did you? Now, did and you? So yeah, you were this, talking about about it last week on the show. Did you restart your character? Because I did that over the weekend. I was like, let me just completely restart because I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I I wanted to so bad, but I didn't want to throw away all. I was about ten hours in, and I didn't want to throw away all the progress. So I'm in that space now where you know every gamer kind of knows it, where you haven't played a game for a long time, and you're trying to remember where was I in the story? What was I doing? Uh, what am I doing? Yeah. How do exactly? I do it? How does it work? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so oh, this I'm brings up the map. Right now. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is tough, but. The game is beautiful. Shout out to the uh, team at CD Projekt Red, uh, really putting in the work to to continue working on that game and making it better. And so uh, I'm enjoying that as well. All right. Uh, oh, but, but before I forget, Fiona Nova. She is the voice on the main voice of the gunk. She's the host at G4 TV. So she used to be. Um, um. She's been all over the place. She's great. We had her on the show a few months ago. So I just want to wrap up on that internet. You can settle down and not not. <laughs> the comments, they're like. Oh. Out. I gotta, I gotta yeah. fix that real time. So, so that's that's what you're playing, Malik. What am I? What am I? I'm playing some Halo. Um, yeah. Jeff and I were playing a little bit of Halo over the weekend. I've got. I want to show this to you because you know what it means when these come out, right? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I have a pop. Famous Larry gloves. I have a pop friend. Look at that. Uh, oh. Elden Ring. Yeah. What, what is? That is, yeah, <laughs> that's pop friend from Elden Ring. So he has jo he's joining us for this show and this show only. So it's uh he's here and I'm I'm looking forward to playing Elden Ring when I finish this podcast. So that's when I finish this episode. Ooh. Yeah, Malik, are you I'm gonna play to... that one? I don't know if I'm gonna play it. I I I want to. I'm just a little uh I don't know. I'm a little nervous to play it um because my backlog again is so so long and I yeah. I really only play it one i can play one game single player at a time but i will say the reviews have gotten me the re reviews that yeah. are coming out uh tens five out of fives uh it's making me i don't know a little fomo fear of missing out so i might actually have to jump in give it a little test and see how it yeah. goes but um what about you i mean I'm, I'm looking at this right now you're right malik i'm looking at that game spot gave it a 10 yeah, the reviews are crazy the metacritic is off mm -hmm. the charts i mean it looks I, i'm very much looking forward to i don't we don't want to say too much of about it right now, but it's very, very. I mean, congratulations to uh, From Software for everything they've done in it, and we'll we'll, ha we'll talk a little bit about it as best we can, without spoiling, because we don't want to do any spoilers. So we'll talk about that, you know, in, in the coming weeks. But here we are, so it's fun, exciting, exciting times. February, <laughs> what a what a release calendar. Yeah, it's we got we, we you know we've been talking exciting month. We've been talking about you know Elden Ring for quite a quite a bit. It's been. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's got, I'm looking at 97 right now on the Metacritic, uh, which is, which is like the highest, one of the highest games in a long time. So eh, anyway, we'll have good games to play. We've always got great games to play. I need to get back into Halo. They, they've got another Tenrai event. Are you playing Halo at all, Malik? Uh, it is a game that I jump back to. I, I know so That's many of those no. folks over there. That <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I, it's, it's this funny thing, again, when you only play a certain amount of games at a time. So I got into Halo super heavy when yeah. it came out, and then I went back to Apex and the controls. It's just it's one of those things that's a little disorienting. Yeah. But Halo Infinite, and, and Halo 5 was my most played game for the longest time. Really? So uh, getting into Halo, yeah, it was my most played game. Uh, and that, in fact, I don't know if it's, I think it's still up there, but you can kind of go see the Xbox Museum. I, f I forget the URL, but... Um, Halo 5 was my number one most played game of all time. And so Infinite is just even better. And so it's just a matter of uh, how much uh, time I have in the game. But I've been watching the show, and I know that you all have been excluding Rebecca from your Halo uh, Infinite parties. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> from your we, haven't yet, we have not been purposely excluding her. It's just because she's on the East Coast, the timing is kind of a little wonky. That's it's, It has not been on purpose no. at all. Rebecca. I, I, I will also... I have to take some blame in it too. I haven't been, uh, I don't know, with with like 
shooters, I feel like for me, at least personally, I have to invest a lot of time in it and I want to be really, really good. And I'm very competitive. And so when I've been playing Halo Infinite, I haven't felt like I'm, oh, I used to feel like I was so good at Halo, but then I've been playing and it's been like, I feel like it's more difficult because I haven't been playing as many shooters lately. So I've been a little bit shy right. on it and I've been leaning more toward you know, kind of relaxing games these days. Um, but it is always way more fun and way better of an experience with your friends. So I would like to play sometime. Uh, it's just That's schedules right. are also kind of tough. We will. We will. You know, I was I was talking <laughs> to Jeff. He's been he's on a holiday this week with his family and he's been playing X Cloud. And remember Rebecca, and I don't know if you've <laughs> noticed this over the past few shows, Malik, but I was talking about remember the pedestrian? I mm-hmm. kept talking about it. He's, he's been playing The Pedestrian, which is a kind of a, a puzzle game mm-hmm. that's on uh, uh, on Game Pass. And he's been playing it over xCloud, which is a it's a great xCloud game. So you should check it out. Um, Interesting. That's nice. nice. I just wanted to. Uh, so I'm I guess I guess I'm out. telling you what Jeff's playing since he's not here. There you go. That works perfectly. Although I will say, like, uh, Rebecca, to your point and kind of what Jeff's playing with The Pedestrian, I, there are so many great games that you can play that are kind of like more mellow. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried. Uh, it's called Lake. And it is a game no, I, I, I might have missed if you all talked about it. So it's a it's an indie game from the uh, I forget the developer's name, but it's not yet Xbox game, and it might be on Game Pass. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it, but it's <laughs> a game where you literally go around and deliver packages, and it's in this like nice little serene town with a huge lake in the middle, and all you do is go around and you deliver packages. So, so it's Parcel it, Delivery Simulator. Both. I mean, basically, basically, but it's the most serene game that you can play. The music is great. The characters are really wacky in there. And you just go around town and you meet the the locals. And uh, so highly recommend that if you all are looking for another kind of a uh, game breaker kind of game where you're just kind of just laid back a little bit. You know, that sounds cool. I'm a fan of simulator games. Yeah. That, that's yeah. Okay. That's okay. I would love to see, um, you know, maybe a, uh, you know, a, a crossover between like that game and like maybe angry neighbor remember that one yeah. oh, <laughs> maybe that, one that of the package stops anxiety, was, i don't know it gave, <laughs> it gave me anxiety oh. too where it comes running after you so maybe there's a crossover where just one house is the angry neighbor because there's always one yeah. house that's the angry neighbor in the neighborhood <laughs> yeah. that's funny yeah yeah hello neighbor was it was one of those games hello neighbor, where that's um, it that's what it was yeah to your point <laughs> um Basically angry neighbor. <laughs> well, he, yeah, exactly, exactly. He was very angry, I think. Um, but yeah, it's one of those games where you, I, I, I always will say the games in the indie space, they do things um, that you just wouldn't imagine. Uh, like, I guess their creativity is on a whole nother level sure. with the concepts that they come up with, how they do the art style. And so that's that's a great example of a, of yeah. a game that is interesting. Yeah, exactly that. So, by the way, did you? I don't know if you guys noticed, but this weekend... Um, I noticed on Netflix that the the Cuphead series is out, so mm, Cuphead yeah. is now on. Yeah, so I need to. Speaking of indie games that uh, kind of do interesting things, there that's Cuphead. I was thinking about that. Yeah, have either of you watched it? Or Larry, you haven't watched it. Rebecca, have you watched it? I watched the trailer for it. It looked pretty cool, but mm-hmm. uh, it wasn't what we were looking for at the time. I think we ended up watching another <laughs> episode of Singles Inferno instead. <laughs> so, um, yeah. um, but it looks pretty cool, though. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Then. Larry's your action to that. One. Uh, yeah. It's uh, awesome. anyway. I just want to make sure we we point out that we're gonna we're gonna talk about some news on just the other side of the interviews. In fact, we should probably stop down and do the interviews right now. Now, Malik, you you know one of the people I'm gonna interview here, right? Why don't you set us up and bring us in the interviews? That's right. Uh, so if you didn't know, uh, Twitch, you can now natively stream uh, from Twitch and it's super simple. And one of the people who worked on it uh, is Brenna Duffett, who I've had a pleasure of working with. She's phenomenal. And Larry got to interview her to learn more about Twitch and Xbox streaming. All right. As we've been talking about Twitch streaming coming to Xbox, joining us is Brenna Duffett from the uh, from the software team. Brenna, great to see you. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank you so much. Well, this is exciting. I mean, I, you know, we talked about a little bit earlier in the show, Twitch streaming directly from the console is now available for everybody on Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One, right? Yes. Yeah, it's available for everyone. And it is so easy to get started. And we're really excited to bring this fan favorite feature back. You know, we had it in the past. And so we're thrilled to have everyone have the ability to stream really easily again. You know, it's interesting because you're right. People may not know this is that we had this ability before yeah. and then for whatever reason it went away, but now it is back and, and work today. 
you can go over to news.xbox.com. We we had a blog. You had a blog post up a couple of days ago, <laughs> which kind of outlined it. Um, but we figured for the podcast, because a lot of folks watch this on video, and obviously for those who are audio, we'll play along and listen and understand it. But we're going to do a live demo, uh, which may go one of two ways. Really great or not so much, but I'm sure. It's I hope be it fine. goes great. <laughs> it's going to be fine. So let, why don't you walk us through how people... And I'm going to bring up my dashboard here. So why don't yeah. you walk us through how people get into, because here's my dashboard. This is actually it. Mm -hmm. um, and what should I do first? You, I'll let you. So you want to hit the Nexus button, yep. tap the Nexus button, yep. and then go over to the share tab. Here it is. Capture and share tab. Sorry. Yep. Yep. And then go down to live streaming, start your stream. There it is. So this is a new, this is a new entry point that you don't. And also I want to point out. You don't need to take a system update for this. It'll just automatically appear there. You guys will do some magic on the on the on the back end and it'll just automatically appear. So if, if you didn't get a system update, go I don't think I got it. Well, don't worry about it. You actually yeah. probably did. Uh, so anyway, you go down to live streaming and then from here, ah, the magic begins. Now, we must say, Brenna, I have already connected my account. Yes. So that's yeah. That's important to point out, right? Yeah, it is. So if your account has already been connected. We did have to request some new permissions, so you might have to reconnect your account, or if you haven't connected your Twitch account already, you will have to connect. It's really easy. We give you a little QR code that you can scan with your phone and then enter in you know, the, the digits, and you're good to go. Yeah, so and then once you do that, then you see this beautiful little purple thing with my Twitch icon at the top, and then it shows you your, your channel at the top there. You know your stream name. You can go in here and decide to whatever you want to, uh, you know, name your stream. Now there's some really interesting options here. Is we now have camera options, which uh, I don't have a camera plugged in here, <laughs> but you can just plug in. Now you can you plug in any USB camera. How does that work? Yeah, so we do have a list of suggested cameras, but for the most part, it would be any USB camera. No. Um, and, you know, on the Xbox One, you can still use a Kinect with an adapter. That's right. That's right. Good yeah. To know. So you can use a camera. <laughs> uh, you know, you turn your microphone off and on. In here, under here, I want to point this out, the more options. You can include party audio. If you and your friends yes. want to get your party on and and make sure you tell them, because, you know, there's privacy and, and whatnot issues, you know, be cool. Um, but you can stream your party audio directly to Twitch. You can change your game volume. Here's something interesting. You can actually also change your, your bit rate, right? Yeah, this is brand new. We used to automatically detect it. Uh, but now you have the ability to actually decide what your bit rate is. So if you have great internet connection, you know, you can bump it up to 1080p, 6,000 kilobits. Uh, if you don't have the best internet connection, but still want to stream, you know, you can drop it down. So, so we really tried to create like a, in a, you know, support everyone that wants to stream. Now in here, I, I just booted up Halo Infinite. So I'm going to go over here and start my live stream. And it's just as simple as this. Again, I've already connected my account. I can change it to Halo Infinite here. And that's kind of it. I just click go yep. live now. It's going. We're on. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And people that follow you. Yep. They have an ability in their settings to actually say that they want to receive go live notifications for people that they follow or people that they've favorited. So sure. there is the option that they can get the little toast. And if they click on the toast, it'll launch the Twitch app and take them straight to your stream. So it's really, I mean, as you saw, I just did it. It's right here. It's all native. You you get this essentially as part of owning an Xbox. You just got to go make sure you sign up for a Twitch account first and you do this. Now, a lot of folks are going to ask, well, what about the chat, right? Because <laughs> people like to see chat. Tell me about that. Yeah. You know, I, I, you can view chat from your phone yep. or from, you know, your PC. Yep. Um, I would really, it's a feature that I personally think is really important. So I would love to see us bring it back in the future. Yeah. We do have some awesome updates that will be coming in the future. So keep an eye out. Uh, this is not the end. <laughs> yeah, that's well, it's exciting that it's, it's back in there and you, again, you've made it easier and you've made it actually more robust because you've got the, the webcam support. You don't have to have connect. You can pretty much use any, you know, compliant webcam and there's, there's tons of them out there. You can buy one for like 10 bucks on Amazon, right? Um, yeah. You can, uh, you know, you work with, you've got the party audio, you can control your bit rate, all of these little features you saw earlier on, I moved around where you want, you know, the status bar of how many viewers you have and the fact that you're live. So you saw me move that around. So it's, it, this is the beginning, right? You're going to continue to do some great, uh, some great things in the space, aren't you? Yeah, we, we absolutely have plans to continue to do awesome things. And we are listening to feedback. So if you hit bugs, let us know. You know, you can report through the Xbox Insider subreddit. 
We want to make sure that this is the best feature available, right? Right. right. We want to make sure it's the best. It's easy. Yeah. Um, it, it's going to look great. I mean, I'll, I'm going to try to, I may stream Elden Ring this weekend. Although I don't know if I want to do that because I don't want to have any spoilers, right? That's, that's, always, mm. that's always the thing, right? <laughs> you get some good mods. Yeah. And then put a t chat delay. Twitch yeah. has a chat delay setting. See, you, you won't go. see any spoilers. There you go. Uh, look at this. You know exactly what's going on. There. That's, <laughs> you're, you're, so, you're so good with this. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to do now. I'm going to have somebody on from Twitch in just a minute just to talk about working with them. And they're going to talk about, you know, how you can kind of start streaming and maybe a couple tips there. But more importantly is you can start streaming today with your Xbox Series X, with your Xbox Series S or your Xbox One. And you're off to the races. And this will kind of allow you an easy way to kind of figure out is, is streaming for you, right? Right, Brenna? Yeah, it's a good way to tip, dip your toe into the water and get started. All right. I appreciate it. Brenna Duffett from the uh, from the software team. Appreciate this great feature. People have it right now. You don't have to take a system update. It should just automatically be there. And let us know what you think and send me a link to your stream. Thanks, Brenna. Thank you so much, Larry. As we've been talking about, uh, we're very excited to have Twitch Back with Xbox integrated into the operating system. Joining us today is Jeremy Foster, VP of product at Twitch. Jeremy, great to see you. Nice to see you too. It's uh, it's really exciting. I mean, this is, I know a lot of folks on our side have been waiting to be able to broadcast to Twitch directly for, with, inside uh, the operating system, you know, within the, what we call the guide or the dashboard on Xbox. Yep. And that's really exciting. Um, you know, we're, we talked to an engineer a little bit ago about it. I want to hear from your side how excited you guys are to have, you know, that, that, that capability native now in the Xbox operating system. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're really excited about it. I think, uh, um, you know, the Xbox integration is one of, uh, you know, a really powerful integration and it's a great way for streamers and and new streamers to get started on the platform um and the you know the new integration makes it really simple to go live uh makes it really easy to go live just from the the guide itself um and saves a lot of the overheads and you know uh, frustrations that i think some of our users felt from having to go through uh the twitch app previously to stream on you know stream to twitch so really excited to have this integration back on xbox and uh you know just really excited to see what what streamers do with it yeah, I mean that's that's the the beautiful part about it is is as we're showing here some of these screenshots, it's just it's so simple now, um, and it allows folks that, you know, because most we, we you know a lot of people watch streamers on Twitch or on YouTube or some other services, but when they're watching them, they've got the you know you and I have the lights and the cameras, and it's it's it can get complicated. Then you have to have a yeah. high end PC to stream and maybe another one that you're playing the game on. But with this integration, it's really all one it's like one touch access and away you go so it really lowers the barrier of entry and that's exciting as well because people that maybe never had the ability or budget to get into streaming now can kind of get a taste of it right yeah absolutely i think it's a really i think you know the xbox is a really great way to kind of get started and see if you like streaming and and, and building a small community and growing it from there um You'd be surprised just the number of, of people who are large streamers today when you go and speak to them and they say, oh, yeah, I started on my Xbox in my living room and I just had a camera and I'd sit on the couch and stream. But that's how I got my first taste in streaming. And, you know, it's a really great way to just kind of get introduced in a very affordable way to have like a high quality stream, um, you know, with a camera, with a decent quality microphone uh, that that the you know the xbox integration supports and then just like start streaming and it, it it's a lot less a lot less hassle than having to figure out how to set up all of the complex applications or as you said having two streaming pcs uh, as an example yeah i mean that the the, the the there's a whole sliding scale of things you can do with streaming i've streamed quite a bit um, you know, and I stream from my console and we had the Twitch integration uh, before, which is great because, again, it's so easy. But I've also streamed from here and it can get complicated and time consuming. You know, if you're into it, then that's great. But some people, frankly, just don't have the time and they just they want to go play a game and maybe build their own community. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, and I think integrations like this are, are really key to enable people to do that. Just a few clicks. You can go live. You can start playing a game. You can start engaging with people in chat. Um, and 
you know, it saves a lot of those hassles. I think, as you said, I've started, I've tried streaming before and uh, it's so easy to stream and then realize like, oh, I don't have any game sound or I don't have any, you know, like my microphone's not particularly clear. You can't hear me. You can't hear me. My audio, I'm looking at the chat. They're saying I'm echoing. I mean, it's, I've had all the problems. We've all had all the problems, right? All the problems, yeah. (laughs) Um, But this is, I mean, we've got a blog post up. We announced it earlier this week and it's available for folks right now. Uh, If you don't have it, you'll get it very soon with with a quick little, um, you know, we're going to turn some things on, on on the back end, but most people have it right now. But being able to go live and see, uh, you know, see how many people are watching, controlling your bit rate and some of the resolution, because everybody has different bandwidth and things like that, adjusting the overlay. There's all sorts of custom options. We talked about that earlier with our engineer. But from your side, you know, Twitch is about building community and 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 really doing that. When you when you think about some of the gamers that are watching this or some of the players that are watching this podcast right now that have never streamed before, there's there's still time to get on the streaming bandwagon, isn't there? Right? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I would say um, I would say streaming in general continues to grow. I think you know the industry continues to grow. I think uh, it's amazing when I look back and I mean I mean I've been working at Twitch for five years, but Twitch has been around for ten now. Just some of the things that that you're able to do as a career, you know, as a profession that would just wouldn't, didn't exist 10 years ago. So I would say, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity in streaming. Um, and, uh, you know, streaming on the Xbox is a really great way to get started because I would say if I wanted to give people a piece of advice, it's just, you know, I personally wouldn't go and invest thousands and thousands of dollars before you've ever streamed, uh, before you realize if you like it, before you realize like, you know, you don't want to invest all that money and then realize you're nervous on camera and you're just not very good at talking to people. Um, so like, I really like some of these, uh, you know, these, these integrations allow you to kind of not just dip your toe, but basically jump into the the shallow end of the pool and, and get started really easily. And, you know, see, see if you can build a community, see if, uh, there's an audience who are interested in watching the games you play and how you play them. And, uh, you know, I, I think, I mean, really excited for kind of the future generations of streamers. Yeah, and what's interesting, you talked about that, and I love the community on Twitch, and I have a lot of friends, yourself, and a bunch of other folks that work over at Twitch, and I love talking to them about how you all just want to enable the community, and there's so many different, whether you're a big streamer with millions of followers and you're playing every day, or you're kind of maybe more of a smaller streamer then you've got a a built up a nice, really robust community, there's lots of opportunities. One of the things that I've done is when I I used to stream quite a bit was... You know, I love playing things like GTA and running around and looking at the different different architecture because these developers put so much time into it. So it's just something different. It's not about the gameplay. It's just about the game environment. So you yeah. have to find as a streamer, you have to find something that you really enjoy and kind of just have fun with it and, and lean into it. Lean into what you love. Right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's great advice for everyone. I would say um, don't don't stream something you don't enjoy because you think it's what's going to be best to to help you get an audience or, or right. find a community like you want to do something you enjoy doing you want to in, you want to find people who enjoy watching you do that thing and it may be that you know you like playing a game just for fun or just play you're just playing with friends that's great don't i would say don't feel like you have to uh you have to you know want to go and become like a platinum level player on a particular game just because that's what's going to get your audience like you know ultimately streaming should be fun and building a community and 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 having fans and audience who really want to engage with you you know they should you know they should come and watch you for something you enjoy doing so i 100 percent agree with you and the easiest way to do that now is is right in the xbox guide on the xbox series x or s or on the xbox one uh, it's integrated right into the guide now. It's just one click. You can set up, make sure you, first of all, make sure you go set up your Twitch account first, then we'll walk you through yeah. it on the console side. It's very simple, but it's it's just so great to have to have you, um, you know, have Twitch back on the Xbox platform and really integrated in a nice way. So Jeremy Forrester, VP of products at Twitch, thanks to you for your time. Thank you for your time today. And uh, we look forward to seeing what, what everybody out there is doing with Twitch. Thanks again. Thank you, Brenna from the Xbox team and Jeremy from Twitch for those interviews. Uh, Larry, you're the you're the one guy chatting with everyone this week. <laughs> and, and if you notice, I wore my purple shirt because it was Twitch. So oh. I noticed you also got a haircut too. You oh, look yeah. great. Because remember last week we were talking about this. I, I was I don't know if you remember Malik, but it was kind of it was it was 
had a lot of volume. <laughs> yeah. You're going to fro, Larry? I, 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 I was a fro, fro, yeah. It was getting a little big. So Rebecca called me out on it. And you didn't have to, but I, I knew that I had to do it. I just couldn't get it done. But I did get it done on last week. So thank you for noticing. But anyway, thanks to, to Brenna, from, like you said, from Xbox Team Jeremy from Twitch. Go uh, check out uh, Twitch streaming native on your Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. Right now, and if you have a if you have an old webcam plugging around uh, sitting around the house, you can plug that puppy into your console, and away you go. So that's fun. So easy peasy, easy peasy, exactly right. Hey, we got to talk about uh, some news. Jeff's not here to do the news, and then we're going to get to your. St- we're going to talk about the the uh, the question we asked last week. A um, couple things to point out. Let's see. We've got uh, we talked about Pot Friend and Elden Ring now available. So check that out. One of the highest rated games this year, and frankly, in a long time. Uh, otherwise, yeah. we've got um, what we got going on here: Alien Invasions, uh, Carnivals, The Pit, and more mm-hmm. in store in Fallout 2022. That uh, that post went up yesterday, so they have a whole kind of a roadmap of what's going out in Fallout 76. Be sure to check that out. News.xbox.com. Got a couple other things in here. We got some new Smite gods. Uh, do you play Smite, either of you? No, but I know there are some dedicated Smite players out there. I think at one point it was like one of the most played games on on the platform. And so, yeah. Uh, yeah. shout out to Smite players. Yeah. No. Speaking of uh, most played, uh, Robo Quest brings FPS Mayhem to PC Game Pass. That's a that's kind of a uh, it's if I remember correctly, that's a game that's in preview right now. Um, let's see, going through some of the headlines. Of course, the Witch Queen. Are, were you ever into Destiny Two? I wasn't. I know Rebecca wasn't. How about how about you, Malik? Destiny, no, Destiny. <laughs> Destiny was one of those games where I saw it come out and people started playing it. And then at some point, I was way too far not into the, I wasldn't into the game as much too as people have been playing it. And I, exactly. And I was like, you know what? There's just no way that I could come in here this late in the game. And so yeah. uh, I never got into it. But I will say shout out to the team at Bungie because, you know, the way I've seen it from as an outsider looking in, um, they've just done a phenomenal job at not only putting out updates, but also um, getting their community so invested that when they put out an update like this one, um, the the amount of enthusiasm and anticipation is like it's almost like a new game release. And so it's just been really cool to see, you know, community management one on one going on with uh, the folks over there at Bungie. Yeah, well, they've always done they've always done great work. I mean, I used to work with them when we owned them and it was it's great to see them continue with destiny so there's that also uh, one more there's a few more things but one of the ones i want to t- point out is shrouded isles on sea of thieves is uh it's the first adventure it's live until march 3rd so that's coming up quickly so go get your sea of thieves on i know i'm I, that's a game that i missed we're gonna, love we're gonna sail all four of us with jeff we, we need to hit the seas that, that, like. i'll tell you it's it, halo is a commitment Sea of Thieves is a super commitment you know just in terms of time okay. i would love to i mean i i'm you know i'm i think i'm the only one on the show that's a pirate legend. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Rebecca? No. I'm. I'm She's not. a legend yeah. in her own <laughs> mind. So. <laughs> well, well, that's, I mean, that's fair. I mean, I I am one of those uh, CFDs pirates who I will do the water bailing or paling, whatever I don't know, uh, and I'll do like uh, I'll load the cannons, but outside of that, you know. So you're I'm more not, of a first mate, not a captain. Support. Yeah. <laughs> exactly the support. Yeah, I I can do anything besides. The fighting, navigating, and every, everything so else. That, that, you know? So what so. I'm hearing is that's that's a lot of your lifeline support character coming into Sea of Thieves, right? <laughs> you know, I feel like this has been a really nice therapy session. I'm learning a lot. About <laughs> learning a lot, yeah. The first step, the yeah, first step is love, understanding and noticing and admitting it, Malik. That's the most important thing. There you thing. go. There you go. I'm more of a support person. Anyway, uh, news.xbox.com. Go check that out. We got it. We asked a question last week on the show, Rebecca, right? And I think you've got that information in front of you. What the question was, if we all, if when, do you want to remind everybody? Yeah. So last week uh, we had King of Fighters 15 come out and I did an interview. Um, and so in honor of the release, we wanted to ask folks what their favorite fighting game character was. Right. Um, you know, I had a couple in mind from Tekken that I played when I was a kid, Um Glad to see Tekken showing up in the answers too. So what are Mitral some of the Fox, answers we have? Yeah, so Mitral Fox said King from Tekken. Yeah. Uh, as a kid, I was scared of him, but I played Tekken two growing up. Now he's my go to. Funny how that happens. Uh, Damien said that his favorite fighting game character was Robin, aka Damien, Damien Wayne. Seems a little sus. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from Injustice two, uh, which did you guys play Injustice two? A little bit. I played a little bit. 
Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I, we, so at, at, there was a point in the time where the team I was working with, um, we had an Xbox in the office and we would all go play Injustice 2 when it came out. And it was a really good, like, kind of stress reliever thing to do in between meetings. And so I really liked Injustice 2. It was a good one. It was probably one of the more compelling fighting games for me. And I loved the, um, gosh, what do you call them? The animations, like if you like get all the combos right, and then it does like the big power ed- right. t- ending move, you know. Yeah, right. the, um, the ultimates or the finishers, yeah. Yeah, uh, Injustice 2 had some really good ones. So, um, Ooga Booga said Yego from Killer Instinct. So smooth, so easy, Ooh, absolutely okay. deadly. Uh, Marek Tuzinski said Killick from Soul Calibur, which I didn't play that one, so I hope I pronounced it right. Um, Soul Calibur, see, that another, right. Oh, I meant the character name, but yeah, thanks, Larry. <laughs> um, let's see. And then another one from Killer Instinct, Juan G said, uh, Agonos. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one right. I didn't play too much of Killer Instinct uh, from 2013, but I do remember when it came out on the original Xbox One. I think it was one of the launch titles, which yep. was pretty cool. Yep, sure, um, and then there were a lot of answers for Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's yeah, that's so one of the everybody. classics. So, but um, the, yeah, as as Rebecca said, thank you for everybody that uh, that joined us. Now, if you if you listen on Spotify, we often ask a question. You scroll down, you'll see it, and you enter it there, and then it goes back, and we can look at them and pin a few. We I think we can only pin five or ten of them, but we had a lot of people um, chiming in and letting us know what they thought. We'd love to hear from you, whether you want to do that, uh, you know, uh, when we ask a question, or whether you want to hit us up on YouTube or even here on Twitter. So there you go. Malik, you're now the complaint desk because that's what Jeff is. So you're, you're the complaint <laughs> desk this week. I'm just happy for the exposure. So, so thanks for putting my Twitter handle there. Um, I will say that uh, fighting game, I know the fighting game uh, community is like, I think that, yeah, FGC is how they're referred to. Um, they're just the most hardcore. Um, and whenever I pick up a fighting game, it's literally just button, button mashing and hoping for the best. Uh, and it never turns out great. But I, know. I really respect I know it's just I respect how the evolution of the fighting game community has happened from the arcades, which I'm sure it's still a thing in yep. many places. Um, but now it's on console. And I just saw uh, Street Fighter Six got announced, which is really cool. But it's been really great to see um, the evolution of those fighting. Games. I don't think I have a favorite character, um, though. I don't know. I'll do Ryu. You know what? Is that cop out? We're going yeah. to let you off the hook right now since we're kind of putting you on the spot. Thanks. You know, when last week, Thanks. Jeff and I and Rebecca kind of talked about it off the air. So we'll. We'll we'll let you when we have you back on. I expect an answer if I remember. <laughs> okay. If Jeff That's lets you back, me to be back on, I'll take it. <laughs> I know, right? I know. So, we'll see. Anyway, uh, what else you got there, Rebecca? Um, those were most of the answers. Yep. Um, we we had a few others, but like I said, a lot of entries for Scorpion. Um, but thanks everyone for sending those in. Love to read through them. Uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to have a question for next week. Larry, do you want to talk about the yeah, schedule at yeah, all? Yeah, we got a couple. Thank you for a programming note. We got a couple things going on. There is no show next week. We've got we're preparing for a big show the following week that Rebecca is going to host all by herself. So more details on that. <laughs> um, so there's we're we're we're. No pressure, we're Rebecca. As we say, know, the, right? as we say in the entertainment industry, we're dark next week, but we'll be back the following week, and then we'll return to our, our regularly scheduled uh, shenanigans shortly thereafter in mid March. But we got a lot; we have a lot to talk about, a lot going on. Um, but Jeff, you'll see, so you won't see Jeff for like God, two or three weeks, right? Oh, wow. no. Like Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. Your words, <laughs> your words, not mine, Malik. He's going to come I after know, you with I that know. one. Um, Hopefully, he yes. doesn't watch this one. Well, uh, so we've got a couple of, couple of got a, like I say, we're so no show next week. But yeah, if you listen to us on Spotify, thank you for your um, your 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 comments over there. We love to see your comments. We love to see the ratings. We got like a four point eight or four point nine rating out of five on Spotify. Oh. So yeah, we're, we're one of the um, we're actually the only uh, regular we're only the, the regular news and information video game podcast on Spotify that's video. So um, we're on Spotify. We're on. Google Podcasts, Apple, of course, over on YouTube. If you like us on YouTube, you got to hit the little like and the subscribe and the bell, and you got to run around in a circle and do all that stuff. Um, but we also love seeing I feel like comments. you all don't plug those uh, superlatives enough. I feel like uh, that's a pretty nice superlative right there. I mean, that should be on a plaque or, or something. Uh, it should be, I don't know. Well, know. Larry's working I didn't know on that. it, I'm sure. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have a special <laughs> intro or something like that. But no, we've, uh, you know, also shout out to. Uh, over on YouTube, as we all do every week, to Rebecca's mom. So let us know what you think. Rebecca's mom, please let us know what you think of Malik. Should we have him back on? 
<laughs> you're being judged. Yes, that wasn't that was another uh I've been watching the show and I've heard of Rebecca's mom Rebecca your mom and and how much of a fan of the show she is and so I'm hoping that I'm good I, enough I, I, to I don't know if she's a fan of the show she likes seeing your daughter. I think that's really it. <laughs> yeah. I I don't think she understands well um, or is interested in most of, you know, what we're talking we're talking about like video games and TV and stuff and she's like uh-huh. She's like, oh, I guess that these things ended up being a career, you know. <laughs> so it's like, now what do you do again? I, I totally get that. Yeah. I totally get that. My dad is the same way. My dad, he'll send folks like, uh, you know, videos that I've been on, and yep. he doesn't really get it. But he's like, my son's on TV, but he's a proud you know I mean? dad. Like, uh, that's the most important. I know. Thing. I know. That's, that's important. That's important thing. Yeah. So. Anyway, all right. Well, we're gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get get folks going. So thank you for all your comments and feedback wherever you watch or view the show or listen to it. Because again, it's available on video on Spotify and YouTube. Uh, but we know a lot of folks listen to us on Apple Podcasts. We also love that uh, you're giving us the feedback there. But you can also hit me up. Major at xbox.com is the way you find me on. Um, if email's your thing, if you just want to be on social, then the best way you can find us is just by hitting us on the Twitters, which are down below. So see that right there. Anyway, anything you guys want to add? Malik, thank you for joining us on the show this week. Yeah, it's great. Thank to you have for you. having me. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Long time listener, first time host. Really appreciate it. It was an honor. And a <laughs> co-host, I'm pal, happy co-host. With... Oh, look at me. Already okay, overstepping my bound. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's getting too comfortable. It's honestly... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. But no, honestly, it's been great what you all have built here. And so I'm happy to fill in any time. Thank you for having me. Well, of course. And of course, Rebecca, great to see you in New York City. Stay safe out there. And I know you got a lot of weird weather drifting your way. So says Malik and I out here in Seattle who had snow this week. So it's just kind of weird. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah. So st- stay warm out there. And we'll, and again, we're, do- we're, we're not, we're, we don't have a show next week, but Rebecca will be back in two weeks with her own show. This is going to be really exciting. Oh, yeah. Are you excited, Rebecca? Uh, yeah, ah, very yeah. much. Okay. Well, you have, I'm you have so a couple, excited. You have a couple weeks to get your feet under you. So, all right, gang, we'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Thanks, everybody, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. See you soon. See you.